Welcome back to 70s Night on Cover 2, Hawaii High School Football Weekly. Saturday night, fifth-ranked Marauders will look for more good times, squaring off with Kalani, who will no doubt have my pops. 1971 Falcons graduate, Junior, waving his red and white pom-poms on the campus of Aiea. Now, 200 miles away in the BIIF, first place will be on the line in Division II, where second-ranked and defending champion Kornawina will have Kamehameha Hawaii pay a visit, where linebacker running back Ethan Ramos plays fast, like UH's golden green days of the early 70s. As number one, would like to teach the world to sing Sons of Hawaii. The historians of the BIIF, I don't know how... Uh... You know, good they are keeping records over the years, but uh, you've got five defensive touchdowns. And, uh, you know, what's the explanation for that? Um, I, I just got to thank my D-line, my boys in the trenches. You know, they're doing work up there. Um, you know, my safeties, they got covered over top, and my DBs, they got coverage over top. And it's just everybody's just doing their job and just, just so happy I'm at the right place at the right time. My coaches teach me to drop into coverage, and I'm there. The journey continues on to the Valley Isle, where on National Smiley Day, fifth-ranked Lahaina Luna will look to display that vintage trademark of the 70s, coming after a third straight win facing Kamehameha Maui. And as Rob Coleus of the Maui News tells us, the Bradys, Waltons, and Partridge Ohanas have nothing on the first family of the MIL. That's right, Rob. Family ties run deep on Maui's west side. Nearly all of the assistant coaches or their sons played in the Lahaina Luna program. No name, however, is more synonymous with Luna football than Tejada. Current assistant Lanny Tejada was head coach from 1977 to 89. His son Garrett is co-head coach and cousin Joey is an assistant. Two of more than 10 Tejadas to play in the program. Joey's two sons, Justice and Joshua, have combined for six TDs and Justice leads this Luna team in rushing. Lionel Luna's wing tee offense is as groovy now as it was in the 70s, but it wouldn't run without the Tejada family. And over on the Garden Isle, the perceived mission impossible for the KIF could reach its $100,000 pyramid as the two-time defending champs of Kapa'a can clinch the league crown with a win over Kauai Saturday. Warriors, at 4-0 in league play thus far, have yet to surrender a single score against KIF competition.